Welcome to Mr. Woods Teaches Middle School Math Survival Guide. I'm Fred Woods, ready to teach. Hi mathematicians, welcome to Mr. Woods Teaches. Today we're working on how to divide mixed numbers. Well, What is a mixed number? This is a mixed number right here where you have a whole number and a fraction together and then we have it divided by another fraction. It doesn't matter if we have a mixed number here or over here. It's going to be a similar process or if there's mixed numbers on both sides. So let's take a look. So we want to convert, keep, switch, flip, then multiply. But first, let's model this. Let's see how what this looks like, this 3.5 divided by 1 6. So we have 1, 2, 3, and 1 half hexagons. Or this is actually a trapezoid here, but they're divided into 6. So I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 triangles per. We can count this up. We have 6 plus 6 plus 6 plus 3. Let's see, what does that equal to? So 6 plus 6 is 12. Let me just do this. That's 12. And then 6 plus 3 is 9. Add these two together. So I can say, let's make it into a friendly number. So let's make this 10. 12 plus 10 is 22 minus 1 because this is only 9. So that's going to equal to 21. Will the math match up to that? First, we need to convert this right here this whole thing, this mixed number, into a fraction. The way I did that is I multiplied 3 times 2, that's a 6, and added it to this here. So that's why we have 7 halves. We can even look at our model. This is 1 half, 2 halves, 3 halves, 4 halves, 5 halves, 6 halves, 7 halves. So we're nowhere on the right track. Again, we're dividing by 1 6. So we did the convert. What we're going to do is we're going to keep this here so we're gonna that's gonna stay the same we're gonna switch this sign here our operation and then we're going to flip this here now how does that look there you go we keep switch and flip now we can multiply the top and divide it by the bottom and, and where we multiply this here but I like to simplify before I go any further most of the time this works out to make it easier so I know that 2 goes into itself one time and it goes into 6 three times and this makes it a little easier because 1 times 1 is 1, and we know that we don't need to have to have that 1 as the denominator for the answer. So we just multiply the top now. So 7 times 3 is equal to 21. And look at that. Our math matches our model. There you go. Remember, to be a math person, all you have to be is a person that does math. Have a great day.